There was a guy on the website that posted a question about water filters. And then he made a comment about one of the video, my videos that he'd watched about the water filter that I use. And I don't, my, the filter that I use is not a filter. It's a purifier. There is a big, big difference. And then he asked of, uh, well, the question was, do I need a water filter? Or what kind of water filter do you recommend? Well, that depends a lot on where you're going. It's kind of an open-ended question of, of yes or no, you do or do not need a filter. A lot of it depends on the water, type of water that you're filtering or purifying. I'm next to a bayou where me and some buddies used to go camping. We used to take a boat and sometimes we would launch from this little boat launch right here and we would go for several miles back up in these bayous and go camping. And this water is some of the nastiest water that you can filter. And all the water is flowing from that. Well, the wind's blowing it up right now. The tide's coming in. But it, it, it comes down stream. And people that live upstream from here have septic systems. They don't have city sewer. They have a septic tank. Or they have some type of aeration, aeration, whatever you call it, septic system. And sometimes with these septic systems, whenever they get a lot of rain, it will overflow. The septic system will fill up and then raw sewage will pour out of the ground. Well, there's supposed to be laws to prevent that kind of stuff, but stuff happens. Then we have, I, I know for a fact that people live up there, I, I've been to some of their houses, they don't have city sewer, I, I, so I know what is upstream. With human waste comes the risk of, even though it's very rare, but some cases are still reported inside of the continental United States, you have polio, and then the more popular cholera, typhoid, and cryptosporidium, because there's livestock up, upstream also. Then you have all kind of little organic matter and stuff. This is nasty, nasty water. You don't want to be drinking this stuff straight, even with... Then one guy off the website, he posted a comment that he didn't bring a water filter with him, that he brought tablets, iodine tablets. Well, that's fine. If you bring iodine tablets with you, that is fine as long as you're purifying water that comes out of a stream, some type of running stream where it's halfway clear. Use, in, use a bandana or your shirt. Remove, use it, use the, your shirt or a bandana or a sock, I don't reckon, a clean sock, all right, clean sock, not dirty sock. I use it as a pre-filter, remove the heavy organic matter, and organic matter, I mean like mosquito larvae, other parasites, leeches, any leeches, sticks, twigs, leaves, dirt, mud, that kind of organic matter. And then, once you have it filtered two or three times and it's halfway clean, then use your, your iodine use your iodine tablets to, to kill any viruses or bacteria in it. But as far as, my, as far as myself, this is the type of situation, this is the type of background that I used to go camping in quite a bit. And you don't want to be using just water purification tablets because of the heavy matter, heavy organic matter that's inside of here. And one of one of the one of the things with with water purification tablets that I don't that I don't like is that sometimes you'll have like eggs, little mosquito larvae. It may take longer for the iodine to kill that kind of stuff. You drink it, you get it inside of you. But there's all kind of little factors. So whether you need a water filter, water purifier, or whether you can use iodine tablets. Where you're going matters a lot. Where you're going. Is there clean running water? Fine, then use iodine tablets. If you don't like iodine tablets, use a filter. If you don't like a filter, use a purifier. So a lot of it's your choice and where you're going. You need to evaluate the situation that you're in and go from there. All right, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Well, guys and gals, I'll talk to you all later.